Okay, joined by Riley Norris. We'll go ahead and open it up for questions. Riley, just how much is what happened in Auburn this year uh, the talk among the players right now, knowing they're coming here to your house, lost by almost 20 points? How much is that in the conversation? Um, it's a little bit. You know, we watched the film on the on them against them last time when we played Auburn, and we made a lot of mistakes, um, changes in defense, uh, too many three pointers given up. Um, so we were watching that film and just trying to, you know, get better and learn from those mistakes. Uh, we know they're playing really well at Mississippi State last game. Um, it's going to be a tough game tomorrow. Uh, we got to come ready to play and. Uh, we gotta get off to a fast start. What is that film session like? I mean, you watched it afterwards. Now, a few weeks later, rewatching it, you know, seeing again the mistakes, seeing you know, mm -hmm. how different the two teams played. What's that? What was that like this time? It was it just making you aware. I think uh, that's the biggest thing we can do is just be aware of the mistakes we're making and then try to correct those. Uh, we're gonna go over some stuff on the court we did yesterday. Uh, we'll correct some stuff today on the court and uh, moving forward, we're gonna get ready and uh, hopefully we'll come out and. Play really well tomorrow. Um, it's a game we need to get. It will likely be your last game in Coleman. Mm -hmm. What the what the heck for you? Um, you know, I didn't really focus too much on that. Um, coming off the LSU loss, uh, you know, we made a lot of mistakes, disappointing loss. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's winding down. I guess a career that uh, you know, it was been through a lot of ups and downs. But um, you know, it'd be sweet getting a victory tomorrow, especially like you said, possibly the last game. Playing in Coleman, but um, yeah, we just want to you know come out play well, play well tomorrow and get a win. Playing here at Alabama throughout your career, how has your time here turned you into a you know a, a leader on this team? Um, seeing you know a lot of ups and downs, like I said, I think that going through adversity uh, makes you a good leader. I feel like if you can weather the storm, um, play through injuries, uh, you know, play through a lot of you know having a lot of teammates, you know, come and go. I just think, you know, I, I love playing here. I love, you know, what it's about. I love the coaches. I love the players, my teammates. Um, I love the fans. Um, it's been great, but, you know, I want to, you know, get a big win tomorrow. And uh, over the next couple of weeks, as your career winds down, what are your words of advice for the younger guys, especially Kyra, going to be? Um, you know, just don't take anything for granted. You know, it, it flies by. People, you know, I came in, Levi, Randolph, and all those guys, they told me, you know, he's going to fly by. and. I mean, five years later, I'm already, you know, winding my career down. But, uh, you know, just take advantage and get better every day and, you know, don't take the little stuff for granted. What's Kyra's mindset coming off of the last game where he kind of didn't have one of his best games? Oh, uh, he's good. Kyra's good. Kyra's been good all year. His mindset is, you know, he's so young and he don't, he's new to everything. And it's really incredible how he reacts to each and every game. Um, playing against the level competition we're playing against. 17 years old, come in there, he doesn't complain doesn't argue, doesn't do anything. He just comes in and works every day. And that's all you can ask for, especially in a point guard, someone that's leading our team like that. Um, he's been big for us, and uh, we know he'll be he'll bounce back and he'll play good tomorrow. Given you know how well Auburn has shot the ball even mm -hmm. against y'all earlier th uh, this year, how much are you as an outside shooter kind of taking some, knowing that y'all might have to you know keep pace at some point, even if you mm -hmm. know there are breakdowns on defense or whether you're going to have to make shot and counter some of those looks. Yeah, we know they're going to make threes. That's what Auburn does. They shoot a lot of threes. They're going to, some are going to go in. We just can't let that affect us um, on our offensive end or in you know, the next possession down. We can't let that uh, be a cumulative effect. Um, but like you said, yeah, they're going to make threes. We just got to, you know, our offense has got to be better. We uh, made a lot of had poor shot selection in the LSU game. Even against Auburn, the last time we had poor shot selection, I think we got you know, run our offense, get better shots easier baskets, look to run more in transition to open it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, like I said, they're gonna make shots. They're a good team. We're just gonna have to you know, weather the storm and just battle with them. We have time for two more questions. How, how aware are y'all as players of the discrepancy of where y'all can finish the year you know, with the SEC tournament, the seeding? I think mm -hmm. anywhere from four to 11 is kind of wide open. So, yeah. you know, we're y'all aware of that? And a little bit, you know, you know, this time of the year, you know, it's, it shows up a lot more everywhere, but you know we try to focus on you know just tomorrow. Um, we can't get caught up in all the st stuff going on, like whether the NCAA tournament or you know SEC tournament. We just got to focus on Auburn tomorrow, and then you know if we focus on them and we play our best we can, then I mean that's all you can ask for. This will be the final question. 